business woman Abida Mia has so far organized about 20,000 US dollars worth of food, blankets and clothes for Malawian victims of Cyclone Idai. Her charity work began in early March after seeing the destruction caused by cyclone flooding firsthand. It happened so suddenly and um, I obviously had you know, money that I was budgeting for other you know, things to do. So I took all that cash aside and said, you know, let's buy maize and go out into the field and assist the people because there was such a huge need and people were starving and didn't have anything to eat. People noticed Mia's effort to help and began bringing their donations to her home in Blanta. And I was really shocked. People were actually walking from their homes, maybe 15 to 20 kilometers away with some clothes that they wanted to give. And they were bringing their fairly new clothes. Mia estimates her charity group, Reach Out and Touch, has helped over 1,000 flood survivors. The group brings the aid to hurry to reach areas like East Bank, where roads and bridges suffered severe damage. Despite their effort, flood affected Malawians say there are still many people in need. Although we are given such food, this is still not enough for us. As of now, our homes are empty. We lost almost everything. We are appealing to the government to provide us with seeds so that we can replant soon after the water subsides. Malau's Department of Disaster Management and Preparedness says Cyclone Idai affected nearly a million people. Officials say 30 million U.S. dollars is needed for flood displaced villages living in 187 evacuation camps. We were only given four tents for people to sleep in. This shows how many people have no proper place to sleep. It becomes worse whenever it starts raining. Some find refuge in classrooms at schools, while others squeeze themselves in at the health center. Mia says in the long term, villagers needed to be moved to higher ground to avoid flooding. In the meantime, and while they wait for more support, Mia says her charity will continue to do what it can to help Malau's victims of Cyclone Idai. Lamek Masina for VOA News, Chikwawa, Malawi.